Today we're uh, at Jazz's house and we're gonna do some, what are we doing? Potting up. We're, <laughs> we're potting up. So what does that mean? They need more space for their roots to grow. These are peppers that have not been potted up and these are peppers that have been potted up and both of these seeds, all of these seeds, were planted on the same day. So you can see how much growth happens as soon as they get into their own space. Yeah, these guys are pretty small, way, way smaller than those ones. Yeah, these guys are healthy and happy and these guys are starved for space. I mix two soils together. So I mix regular potting soil in with the seed starting soil. Why? Because there needs to be a little bit more nutrients for the plant to feed because they're going to stay in here for a couple more months. Mm -hmm. They need to eat a little okay. bit more and seed soil does not have the um, nutrients. Seeds don't need any nutrients to germinate. So I've mixed the two, I've dampened the soil and I'm just filling the containers. First and foremost, I'm going to label before I plant up and get too messy, I'm gonna write a few labels down. All of these hairs, the stem is really, really hairy. The secret to potting up tomatoes is you can pot all the way up to those first set of leaves and all of these little hairs can potentially root. So the deeper you plant the, your tomato, the more um, potential it has to root. So I have to gently pinch the bottom. This is kind of hard when I have all the other ones in there, but gently pinch the bottom, pull that out. So how long ago did you plant those? I planted these February 27th. Cool, and it's March 20th, so it's almost a month. I have planted a ton of tomato seeds so I can do two different things. If I didn't plant a lot, I could save all four of these and plant them into four separate containers. Or because I do have a lot of tomatoes planted, I have a bunch downstairs on the ironing board light. I can actually pinch this one out. Put, put. Okay. And and discard it and concentrate on this big guy. Wow, that's pretty incredible standing here, how much I can smell tomato. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. The leaves give off like the oil. Yeah, it smells great. It, it's, it's incredible. So you don't have to be as gentle as you think you have to be, but you do want to keep the roots intact as much as possible. So you're basically massaging the separate roots out, separating these two. Okay. So this guy now is going to go in a bigger pot. I'm just going to make a hole with my fingers. You can do it with a pencil. And when I'm doing this, I'm often, if this, trying to make a, this size yeah. width, but deeper so that stem can root. So when you're handling seedlings, you can also hold them by the seed leaves because these are the leaves that come out with the seed and then these are what's called true leaves. These, you see the difference between the two leaves? Yeah. These are what tomato leaves look like. Most seed leaves uh -huh. look like that. If you ever have to like lift your seedling, okay. you can lift them by the seed leaves because if they were to rip off, they're gonna drop off naturally anyways. It's only a matter of time. Okay. So you can, ah! see it's actually way that stronger. That makes me anxious, stop doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop them in. Okay. All the way down and see that's not even deep enough. Okay. Because this, the top of this container yeah. meets the soil will meet about there. See how much stem is exposed? Yeah. With tomatoes. You don't need to, you can plant so, so, so deep. So I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper. Okay. Drop that guy right in. Push him down to make sure there's no air pockets in the bottom and push him right down. And then cover him up as best as possible. I just tap it. Don't forget to label. And then now, this seedling will live in here until it's warm enough to plant outside. 
And the goal is that this whole tomato will become rooted and will be ready to be planted outside with really thick, strong, healthy white roots.